Hey guys, it's your boy Roos, and I'm doing this deck profile for Team Link, which I got my boy Rob. Fan favorite and a familiar face on the channel who just top 16 the PPG Ancient Guardian Regional playing. What are we playing this time? Is it spirals or. Oh wow, you so I'm angry. You know how I go? Uh, TTL. TTL here, you know how I go. Take that loss. TTL is up. Well, now, so we made this real quick, alright? So, Salads, what is it? Um, May 2021 format. Honestly, I haven't really been playing that much, so, you know, I'm used to this deck. I have Dragon Link and I have Eldridge, but, you know, I'm used to playing this deck, so, you know, I figured just bring it out here and see what we could do. We got top 16, so that's what it is. So, let's get started. Um, you already know, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Um, I, I still like playing one of this. If it gets banished, it's whatever. Falco is always, is always plus. Um, two Foxy, two Spinny. Um... This comes up sometimes after the second spinning, uh, after the first one gets banished. And this is good for like um, floodgates, you know, just having an extra one and, and a normal summon as well. So I like it with that. Um, three Buffaleros, one Debug, and one Skipper. Um, you only really need one of this. Um, once you you're like, once you use Debug once, you don't really need Search Deck for anything else. Uh, Flame Buff Rail is just probably the best normal something you can do. And then Formula Skipper um, helps get me into my Parallel Seeds um, as well. And then plus two, you can use it to copy one of your Salad cards in, the, in your extra deck. So like if I'm going to Wolf and I want to make this, I can have Wolf automatically double linked or like double summoned already with only using one Wolf. So it comes up. Um, I haven't done that, but I did be able to search this off of this and um, help get game. That definitely came up. Um, one card I would say I wish I played. I'll mention it a little bit later. I feel like it could have came up, but we'll talk about it a little later. Hand traps, three ash, you know, salad, two ghost bells. Never got to use it. Um, and if I had, if I actually prepared for the tournament, I probably would have played something else. But whatever it was in there. Um, that's for monsters, obviously. Obviously, um, I played two wills. I want to play three, but. I don't know, I gotta see. Mine in, automatic. Call. I was playing a Harpy's Feather Duster. It came up. It's, it's, it's a good card, so. And. Mystic Mind. Um, so I played Mystic Mind Salads. Um, probably won one or two games where my opponent just scooped um, because we're just going back and forth. I think it was playing Shadal, Invoked. And they had no out, so certainly they had less cards in, in their deck than mine, so we just decked them out. Um, but it comes up. Um, it helps out too. Like, I like this version of the deck with the Mr. Mine. It kind of um, helps you catch up from the the disadvantage of playing solids because not being so powerful. This is an unfair card, so we play that. And I wanted to go with that. We play Metaverse. You know, can, I mean, can, can we just ban this card altogether, please? Thank you. All right, and then one roar. One, two, three, Rage. Um, what in the world? Rage is live all the time. You just have to have a solid card either on the field or in the hand. So you could just set this and have the card in your hand to discard. Um, Roy, you really only need one Roy. You could recycle it with some effect. Um, but these always come up. And you usually want to draw into at least one um, so you can um, see it. So you don't have to waste your gazelle dump on this. You can use it on something else. So I, I usually like the space trail. So it works out for me. Um, and then what I've been playing for today to test out randomly, I put it right before the tournament. Grand Horn of Heaven. All right, this don't buy this. Okay, so it's good. So I won a game in one of the rounds where my opponent was setting up with his Dragon Link board, and I forgot what he was winning into, but I activated Grand Horn and I forced him into battle phase, and he just attacked me with his Boar Sword. Uh, not Boar Sword. Um, no, Boar Little Savage uh, for 3K, um, and he went to set up for next turn. Uh, but even whatever he set up, he couldn't kill me that turn. Next time I OTK'd him with, um, with um, Axis Code. So I was testing out today. I like the theory of it, where it kind of not only stops your opponent's play, but it also forces them into the battle phase. So if you go on first and you set this and your opponent goes second, and you stop them, that, one, that only not stops, um, messes them up from trying to kill you that turn if they're trying to go for the OTK. It puts them in an awkward situation where they have to attack with what they have, and then you get a turn back where you can pick out their board. Um, and kill them. So, still testing it, but so far so good. Alright, so that's the deck. Extra deck. Um, obviously, obviously. Pretty standard. Um, I played two Heat Leo. I never summoned it. Um, I may or may not take it out. It just depends. 
Um, it can come up, but sometimes it's easier. The way I'm playing the deck, it's 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 easier to not go into a level three fire. I'd rather go into other things, so I'm going right threes. I'm um, not right threes. Um, link threes. So still going, but it might come out for other cards. Um, Lingaribo. Security Dragon, um, because we don't have the the link, not the link, the um, exceed that bounces. So I need something to get rid of opponent's monsters on the field without destroying them. Um, so no Mirage Stalio, so that's your No Mirage so this works out for me into Cyburst. I um, mean, you'll notice about my extra deck as well, Splash Mage, Update Jammer, um, and then you know, Package, Access Code. Um, all the monsters in my extra deck other than Dweller, or cyber monsters so i don't usually have a problem with um these two effects you know saying you only get some cybers for the um for the turn um i was playing firewalls the 15th but then right before the turn i decided to put dweller in um i didn't really get to practice with firewall enough to see if it was worth it and i have um this card in the extra deck not extra deck you know what i mean um in the side deck you know as a 15th just in case um but still testing to see. But Dollar came up and you know Dollar was all the win against a couple games. So extra deck, that Cowboy for game um, came up. Oh, nice Cowboy. You know, so I gotta get an ulti, but whatever. <laughs> so extra and then Lancias, two Lancias, uh, three Nibiru's, two Dark Rule No Mores. Um, I played two Wildville Warlords. Um, never sided it in. Um, it could come up. It just depends on what deck you're playing. Uh, red reboot and three evilly match for Elvidge and you know backdoor decks. That's it. All right, all mini shoutouts. Um, shout out to Team Liquid. Shout out to Roots coming down here. Um, shout out to everybody. You know that's still playing Yu-Gi-Oh in the pandemic. We should be opening up soon. Hopefully, we start doing Konami sponsored tournaments. And when that was a fun experience, um, trying to do on a Saturday. Um, shout out PPG down here in Miami as well. Um, best competition in the whole world. Um, the next time I practice, I promise. That's it. All right, thank guys. Thanks again, Rob. Till next time. Peace.